So what do you need to do in order to set yourself up for the 2024 housing market? We're going over the five things you need to do in order to prepare for the 2024 market. The first note is having a great exit plan. Let's say you're looking to purchase a, a bigger, better home in the same area. I just helped a, a family upgrade in Santa Clarita and I'm out here, so it's a good reference, okay? So when we were planning out their process, we, found, we, we figured out what they were really looking for. How much money did they really need in order to purchase that new property? What did they need to do in order to set themselves up for that purchase? Did they need to be timely? Did they need to maybe rent in the meantime or what it really looked like? Did they need to be very specific with the home that you, they were going into? In this instance, they were very specific, but something popped up very, very soon. So they were able to be very quick with everything Thing that we were trying to do. So we, we got the uh, the listing ramped up very, very fast and we got it out there and we sold it very, very quickly. When it came down to it, we found that replacement property and we were able to get it in even with a discount as well because that home wasn't set up well. So when we went to go purchase that home, we were set up in a way where we were we had a fast close on our, our sale. We made sure that we were really clear with what we were saying to any home buyers and making sure that we were interpreting the information, displaying all that information well, pricing well, and everything in between. So so that's the first point, making sure that you, you have that in mind. All right, so we have two different coffee cups here. We have this generic coffee cup that says, even says cup of happiness right here. And then we have my four shots of espresso iced in a venti cup with heavy cream right here. Both have the same exact title, right? It's coffee. This coffee might even be 10% better. But the perception here is that this is better. It's in a bigger cup. It's branded. It looks pretty, even looks Christmassy. Everything about this just looks way better than this generic cup right here, even though it might be better. There will be people that will buy this cup of happiness right here. But I will say, and there is proof behind this, that more people buy this cup of happiness right here. This looks better. It's branded better. And the perception is that it's going to taste better and it has more value. And that's the importance of great branding and curb appeal. So I'm going to stick to my Starbucks. By the way, if this has been valuable for you, make sure to comment down below and I might choose somebody to give them a Starbucks gift card or something. Okay. Yes. I'll give you a Starbucks gift. Card. Let's better understand who I am as a, as a consumer. Okay. I'm a Marine. I'm a father. I'm a husband a business owner, and I'll be honest, I'm probably not in the market for a Hello Kitty hat. I'm not saying that I'm better than the person that actually buys that stuff. I'm just saying that's probably not for me. The point here is that I am the wrong buyer. I would not be purchasing that product. So if that company that sells Hello Kitty hats were to advertise to me, they would be wasting their advertisement money. The thing that an average agent typically does is advertise to the neighborhood and count that as advertising. And if anything, that is a more selfish way of putting out your listing and advertising your listing, because that's really just letting the neighbors know that, hey, I have a listing. Maybe you want to list with me. So it's more of a selfish thing than anything to advertise to the neighborhood and count that as advertising. That's advertising for you as an agent, not advertising for the list. Now, if you have a system in place, that is a portion of the system that is implemented into advertising to a home because yes, buyers do come from sellers that probably know someone that is looking in the area that does happen from time to time. But the idea here is to figure out the who, who is the person that is going to be purchasing that house. The idea here is to put in a lot of that work and do the research, find out who that buyer is and bring a lot of them to the open house, drive up that price and get top dollar for your home. Because when it comes down to it, when you advertise to everyone, you're advertising to no one. You're wasting your money. This is where the actual hard work for you as a seller comes up. We're going to sit down and we're going to compare your house to the homes that have sold on the market. And the key word here is homes that have sold. We're looking at things that people are actually buying, not things that are currently on the market. I want to emphasize the homes that have sold because again, that's what people are buying. So you compare the features of your home and the homes that are selling and the homes that are currently on the market, your competition and seeing what unique advantage do you have? How can you maybe go up to par with the homes that are selling for top dollar? You need to renovate the kitchen, maybe the bathrooms, do the flooring. You do that comparison to see if it's going to be worth it for you. The key here is to see those small variables between your home and the homes that are selling for top dollar and seeing what can you do in order to get to that point. There's not a lot that needs to be said about this point, but potentially there's a lot that needs to get done. So get ready. This is where you actually start. The Romeo Echo now has a nationwide network. We are able to help you 
purchase and sell homes anywhere in the US. And we've worked really hard to create systems for you. Systems are what separates the average agent from the agent that's gonna get you the most for the least amount of effort that you will trust that the job is gonna get done in a professional manner. The benefit of a system is that it's not an individual effort. It's the accumulation of efforts of different people in different fields doing their absolute best at doing what they are meant to do, sell your home. We're talking about having people like skilled contractors to help you make repairs to a home, or maybe it's a knowledgeable title and escrow company to help guide you through the process, an inspector that's gonna be on your side, and a realtor who's gonna be able to bring all those people together for you. If you wanna experience some of what we do for our marketing, my Calendly link is down below. Book a call with me. If I don't have a time there available for you, feel free to text me, call me, email me. All my contact information is gonna be down below. And maybe you wanna watch a couple more videos. I have a playlist of some of the home tours that I do for some of our listings. It's gonna be a playlist right here. And if you want some more tips on how to buy, sell, or what the market looks like, go ahead and take a look at this playlist. Subscribe right up here. Okay, bye. I love you.